In the previous tutorial, we knew how to start a new part and sketch. So let's do it again here as a repetition. Let's start a new part, click new part. Okay. And then we're going to start a new sketch. This time on the top plane. So click on it, sketch. So now we are able to start sketching. We have our sketching tools. So let's pick the line again and show you some tips how to use the line. So let's start from the origin. And do you know, you know about the relation from previous tutorial? We have vertical relation here, we have horizontal, and again vertical. And if you continue, you will be able to continue making lines. But if you return back, so you'll notice the icon is changed to be double circle. That means you are able to start drawing an arc. So you can find the place where you want it. So now when you are done, so you can continue drawing your lines. And again, if we back, you are able to create an arc. And if you back again, you will be able to draw a bigger arc. So it depends on your type of sketching. So again, here we are closing our sketch. So if you notice at the sketch, you have some lines are with the black color and the rest are in the blue colors or dark blue colors so that means these lines are defined and the rest they are not defined so in this case these lines having a starting point and or ending point for this line on the origin and as you know the origin is a defined place so on the rest they are missing something to be defined so to do the definition you need to make uh, some dimensions so there comes the dimensions smart dimension tool so if you click on that and select the line you'll be able to add the dimension you want so let's add 60 millimeter and then press enter so let's again choose the diameter or dimension for this line and if you hear roll below you are able to change the dimension or if you click on the arrow you can also change the dimension or simply click the, the value you want and here you have duty that is the name of that line so in the advanced tutorials you'll be able to make the dimension parametric or controlled by some equation or so on so but for now let's just select the dimension to be 120 click on then okay so we are able now to continue adding more dimension until we define our part. So you notice now the lines are changing. So here if you look at the bottom you'll notice that the sketch is under defined so that means you are still need to define your sketch so let's add some more dimensions this is the last dimension okay and here you look fully defined so that is important if you want to make a good sketching to define your sketches so this is a uh, user-friendly way to tell you 
if you are missing some dimensions or not. So if you added your dimension, you are still able to re-edit your dimensions by double click on it. And you are able to change, then click OK. If you want to delete a dimension, click it on the keyboard, delete or right click, delete. So you see here the line is here not defined. So let's delete more lines select delete so there is another way how to define your sketch but it's not used very commonly because mostly you are adding your dimensions you know dimension you want but sometimes it can be used if you go to the display delete relation expand that menu you will see the fully defined sketch so if you click on that, SolidWorks is going to calculate the missing dimensions and add them to your sketch. So calculate. So you have now there are no solution because it is overdefined. So let's undo. Click and delete and let's delete all the dimensions. Again. Let's go to fully defined sketch, calculate. So SolidWorks automatically make your dimensions. When you are done, click OK.